again, a philosophy here. We're not going a lot on, uh, we got some other business to tend to today, so, uh, but we're talking pressure, okay? We're talking pressure. We're talking about that hip pressure in, okay? We're not talking about trying to ride guys with arms. Here, there's no pressure here. This guy gets a knee slide stand up really easy, okay? I wanna talk about two things. I wanna talk about pressure, okay? Pressure and sometimes a change of direction, okay? This guy's a good wrestler. Strong guy, right? He does all the things we, we talked about on the bottom. Thumbs turn forward, okay, pressure back, trying to find my weight. So a lot of times, okay, it's a simple change of direction. Right here, he doesn't seem to be breaking down that way, okay? And change the direction, okay? Very similarly, here, it's behind arms, doing everything right. He's a good wrestler, okay? Right here, find his tipping point a lot of times. Okay, so you gotta get, you can do these drills, you just get used to putting the weight on the guy and getting over here, okay? This is a philosophy, we're not doing anything, we're not doing a chop today, anything, an ankle right, nothing like that. We're just talking about pressure. That's pretty good pressure, huh? Yeah. Okay. We're talking about changing directions, okay? We are talking, we're talking about once we break a guy down, attacking the high hip to really get the weight on the guy. Okay, here, the guy builds back like we just did on the bottom, and he finds my pressure, okay? Right here, this one, I'm hip to hip, inside of my hip. Okay, this is the last one we'll leave you with. Just gonna give him a place to fall. We give him a place to fall. We worked on this this spring, didn't we? Here, jamming the guy, he's jamming back, he's jamming back. We're gonna use his resistance, the handle on the hip right here. The handle on the hip. Watch me move my body, my inside knee. I'm gonna have right by it, down by his ankle. And that's just gonna block him a little bit, okay, to keep his, his knees from moving underneath him. But watch right here, okay? Give him a place to fall. Immediately attacking this side, okay? Mat wrestling is something you have to work at. You really gotta work at it. The higher level you go, the more important it is. Um, high level high school wrestling, especially certain parts of the country, you really gotta be pretty good from all three positions. So from a coaching standpoint, Implement it into your room. If you guys are your own best coach, which sometimes you gotta be, especially right now, what we're doing, pick this stuff up. It might not all be exactly the same, but think about the principles and think about putting time in to areas where you're less proficient right now, okay? Wrestling neutral was always my favorite thing, right? We'd go in and we'd wrestle 75% when I was like running my own workouts or whatever as a, as a high school kid, a college guy, but you gotta wrestle on the mat. You gotta practice those positions that you're not very good at, or and there's a learning curve, and you might get the heck road out of you for a while, but you have to work in the three positions. They're difference makers, they can change the game, be proficient on the bottom, be a real tear on top, and everything we've been working on our feet, you know, we'll be moving in the right direction. Thanks for being here.